In the middle of the presbytery under the dome, the 10th century high altar is a structure inspired by the neoclassical taste. Under the altar table lie the bodies of Saint Fedele and Saint Carpoforo, martyrs of the 1st centuries, and on it there are the 12 apostles' faces, the 4 evangelists' bust, the statues of faith and hope. Then there is the ciborium in the shape of a small round temple, in which there is a golden wood tabernacle, topped by a small dome on which the marble statue of risen Christ is placed. At the center of this complex altar, just halfway through the path from death to life, from the relics of the saints to the statue of the risen Lord, on a silver throne, which was used for the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament since 2014, there has been the crown of the thrones by Claudio Armitani. It is a round crown, about 45 cm in diameter, made of nickel barbed wire, with a golden thread in the outer perimeter. From a distance, the allusion to the silver halos of a nearby saint is clear. It seems to be the glorious crown of light of the risen Christ. But if you get closer, you will realize that first of all, it is a crown of thorns, like the one that belonged to the suffering Christ, the Christus Patience. This barbed wire, which suggests division, separation, exclusion, is a clear symbolic recall of the Nazi concentration camps, of the people who looked for freedom without success, trying to overcome that wire but only finding death. It is a wire that represents all the evils of our time. These crown words mortifies, strikes, it is the crown of a God who joins human history, a Christ who decided to carry all the evils of the history, both the past ones and the current ones. But the golden thread reminds us of the fact that this is the crown of a king, a king who becomes a servant, because only those who love are kings. It is the crown of the man who defeats death by dying on the cross. This is God's regality. We can see the crown on the altar. It is slightly lit, as if it could wobble in space, as if it wanted to bring out the idea that it is the passage to life, resurrection, going through pain and death. That way, the crown of thorns becomes the passage to the beyond, to eternal life.